Today is a little, little bit of something special because uh, I had to leave the Tokyo metro area to go outside the towards the rural places as a, I'm renting a car. I need to rent this car to drive to a a special place uh, that is south of Tokyo. Right now I'm actually north outside of the, the yeah I'm right now on the north of the Tokyo metro. So I'm going to this place here to rent out a car to drive past uh, the metro area and down south near Tokyo Bay. Um, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit of a, of a special thing for me. But uh, yeah, today I woke up right. Once again, uh, Google Maps uh, said take the station at Asakusa. So I went to the nearby one, but it's not the right one because there's two uh, Asakusa. Asakusa stations. So I had to end up walking another uh, 10 uh, minutes the opposite direction and uh, then got on the train, ran down the platform, uh, missed another train, waited another 15 minutes. I'm a little bit late but look it's better late than never but uh, yeah excited to see uh, what's gonna happen. I only had this car for six hours I think I'll lose a f maybe two two hours of traffic and uh, basically realistically I'll have it for two hours of driving I don't know what the toll is going to be like or the, the petrol price and all of that but we'll cross that bridge when we get there alright look Google sent me the wrong way twice so what I did was I opened up the YouTube video and then I, I noticed in the background that there's this big electrical electrical cabling and it was electrical towers and that's when I knew that's the opposite direction of the town long story short a bit more research on their website so boom we're now in uh, going in the right direction it has costed me 40 minutes and now instead of having six hours I'm gonna have roughly around five hours with the car but since I've gone in this direction I've come across more houses with uh, more uh, GTRs, BRZs, STIs and all of that but look here it is here finally made it um, that GTR there Supposed to be my one. So the plan for the day was to go to the Nismo uh, Omari factory, right? However, it's actually closed today, um, which is kind of not good. So just a quick detour though. Um, instead of driving one hour south to uh, the Omari plant, I went and drove an hour north to a uh, Sakuba circuit. But uh, yeah, like this thing is an absolute beast. Like, but. Uh, I just feel like I'm wasting, it's just wasting away driving around here because the average speed limit in Japan is 40 kilometers. Like I'm putting this thing in fourth gear, fifth gear and I'm flooring and it's just picking up. Another thing, like they have cameras and GPS tracker on the cars as well so I don't want to, I don't want to uh, step over the boundary just yet. But uh, overall like it's surprisingly uh, comfortable for my uh, my back because I have a uh, back pains due to uh, previous injuries, right? And uh, it is there's no there's basically no room in the rear seats for anyone, pretty much. I don't even know why they even have it because yeah, there's there's no there's no room for anyone at all. Sakuba Circuit. One of my favorite circuit ever on the Gran Turismo video games, right? And I'm finally here. It's another thing off the bucket list. Just drive in, sit down, park wherever you want. There's always someone here practicing. Motorbikes or cars. It is what it is. 
a fun fact, right? A Ferrari, what's it? A Ferrari 360 where a professional driver does this lap in one minute, five seconds. So if you do less than one minute, you know you're super fast. All right there, I was about to leave the circuit, right? And then I bumped into uh, some uh, official uh, workers here, right? So I asked them, oi, uh, is there any way I can buy some merch? So they said, yeah, um, just walk in. And uh, there's, a, there's a shop inside. I was like, are you serious? Because yeah, just walk in underneath the tunnel. So here we are. And just for confirmation, I stopped by uh, the gate entrance again and asked the, uh, the, the information guy. He said the same thing. And he gave me four uh, map brochures and a sticker as well. How straight the dead sound here. This is it, that's 25 quid. Come on, get out of that. It may be a fanboy, but I'm no more. Stickers. Tanner, Jesus. Nine quid. Fiver. So yeah, picked up a few merch for all the lads back home. S15. Woo! Nice. Just walking around, right, asking people if they're okay to take a picture of their cars. And they're like, yeah, they're more than they're happy for it. Just walking around, taking the vibes and that. Can't lie to you. Even though I wasn't planning on coming here, because I tossed the Kube was so far away from Tokyo. That's like, I'm just glad that I have because there's another thing off the bucket list. I've always wanted to come here since I was like 12 and I knew about the place. I can't lie to you. I'm absolutely buzzing right now. I spent like 60 quid in the shop just, just full of stickers. Well, it is what it is. Everyone in Japan is into motorsport regardless of their age. That's just the thing in Asian in general. Whatever you're into, you're into. Like that there, an Elfle. Probably in the 60s. Driving a new what a G uh, what's that a GT86? Then over there you got the motorbikes. But yeah, like in here as well, there's like places for you to drop your babies off, daycare centers downstairs and outside near the entrance and inside here as well, near the tracks. It's mad. Yeah, everything's very family oriented here in Japan. But look. Even though I'm not allowed to go to the control tower, I'm still having fun. But look, I'm going to have to go back and drop off the, the GTR. Because if you're late by one hour, you have to pay double fees. So actually no, she says if you're late by 10 minutes, you have to pay 70 euros. But if you're late a uh, past an hour, it's double fees. And if anything past uh, two hours, it's triple fees. So that 70 becomes, to, becomes mad, you know.